How to register for classes. Before registering. Before you can register for classes, you must complete two mandatory meetings that are a combination of one-on-one -on -one and group meetings. You will receive emails from your personal advisor with instructions on how to sign up. If you don't complete these meetings, a hold will be placed on your account and you will not be able to register for classes. If you would like to schedule an additional one-on-one -on -one appointment with your advisor, you can do so through the FGCU Exploratory Advising website. Search Exploratory Advising in the search bar. Click Make an Appointment. Select Exploratory Advising General and then select your personal advisor. You were given a colorful sheet at orientation with all your general education courses. Don't worry if you misplace this sheet, you can download it from the Exploratory Advising page. Click Advising in the first year. Go down to the General Education Program and click on the link. On this document, you will find all the different Florida State General Education required courses. Make sure you know what day you can officially register. This can be found by searching Eagle Registration and then scrolling down to the term you're looking to register for. Your registration date is based off of credits earned and all registration opens at 6 a.m. of your designated registration date. You'll also need to check your holds. If you have holds present on your account, you will not be able to register for classes. You can check for holds by logging into your Gulf line, clicking the Student tab, clicking Student Records, and clicking View Holds. Here you can see this student has two holds because they have not completed their two check-in meetings. A wide variety of things can create holds on your account, so make sure to check and clear all of your holds promptly so you can register on time. If you have a hold present, make sure to use the holds key to identify it and learn how to clear it from your account. The Schedule Planner. The Schedule Planner is a great tool that generates class schedules for you. Open Goalfline, click the Student tab, click Registration, and then go to Schedule Planner. Once you are redirected to Schedule Planner, you will first select the term you are registering for. Next, it will ask you to select which campus. For this, make sure you select All Campuses. Now you can add the courses you would like to take. Click Add Course. Select the subject and the course number, and then click Add Course to add it to your list. Once you have all the classes you want, you can click Done and you'll be taken back to the previous page. If you'd like to create designated time slots in your day for things like working or studying, you can add breaks into your schedule. Click Add Break. Enter in the details of your break. When you're finished, click Add Break. Click Generate Schedules to see all the possible schedules you can choose from. You're able to click Shuffle to see more options. Click View to see the schedule details. If you find a class that you really like but you want to change your other classes around, you can click the lock icon. Now even when you shuffle your other classes around, that one will stay put. If you don't see a class on your calendar, it's because it's an online class. So make sure to scroll up and check where the campus is. If you have a few schedules you like, you're able to compare them side by side. Select them and click Compare. Make sure you have backup classes chosen. Classes can fill up quickly and you're going to want options just in case. You can always click the heart button at the top of a schedule to favorite it. Once you're satisfied with your schedule, click send to shopping cart and then continue. Even though these classes may look like they're submitted, you are not registered for them yet. In order to properly submit these changes, you will need to go to the bottom left corner and click register. Registration is not open at the time of this video, so we weren't able to completely submit the schedule. Thankfully, you can keep your classes in your registration cart until your registration date. But keep checking to make sure the classes you have chosen haven't filled up yet and become unavailable. Confirmation will show on a new page as Web Registered next to all courses you were successfully registered for. Any courses you are not properly registered for will show a described error message. Schedule Search Another way to sign up for classes is by entering them more manually. If you'd like to use this method, or just simply check out classes before you have your meeting with advising, you can use the schedule search to discover offered classes. On the FGCU website, search for FGCU schedule search. 
Create your search by entering in the correct term and setting the class status to open. You can then search through classes by course prefixes and or course numbers. Click search and you can see all the classes that match the criteria. Less is more when using the search tool as you don't want to limit your results too much. Often all you need to enter into the search is the correct term, setting it to open, and putting in the course prefix you want to look at. Make sure to check out the comments section. As you can see, this class is restricted to honors only. And this class is actually a hybrid class, meaning there is an online and an in-person component. There are other important details that can be put into the comment area, such as if a class takes place in South Village or if it's a special topics course. Here you can see the maximum seats available in each class and if there is a waitlist for the class. Here is the CRN, which is unique to each class. Clicking it will give you a description of the class. This number is what you will enter into Gulfline later to manually register for a class. Here you can see the number of credit hours a class is worth. This is the meeting time and location of the class. Each day is shortened to one letter. M for Monday, T for Tuesday, W for Wednesday, R is for Thursday, and F for Friday. And here you can find the instructor. If you want a broader search, you can search using course attributes. For example, if you'd like a class that counts as a Gen Ed Humanities, click on Course Attribute, then click Gen Ed Humanities. Now you're given a long list of classes to choose from that all count towards the Gen Ed requirement. Once you find a class you'd like to register for, take note of its CRN. Go to Gulfline. Under the Student tab, click Registration. Click Add Drop Classes. Then you can select the term. At the time of this video, registration is not open, so this is as far as we can go right now. After you submit your term, a new page appears that will have spots for you to manually type in the CRNs of the classes you want. Once you enter in the classes, you can click Submit Changes. Confirmation will show on a new page as Web Registered next to all courses that you were registered for. Any courses you are not registered for will have an error message. Here's how to view your schedule in Gulfline. Under the Student tab, click Registration, and then click Student Schedule by Day and Time. Now you can see all the classes you registered for in a calendar style view. Thanks for watching. Check the description for timestamps to take you to specific sections of the video, as well as links to helpful resources.